Namaste and welcome to another session of Yoga with Adrian and today we'll be exploring uh, some very old uh, vinyasa sequences the sun, moon and earth salutations which would be the Surya Namaskara the Chandra Namaskara and the Prithvi Namaskara so let's uh, and I'll explain to you how uh, each sequence goes as we uh, do the sequences together on the mat. So come, let's get on our mat. So remember, as always, to put on your favorite music in the background. And let's get started. Now come to the front of the mat with your feet hip width apart, toes pointing straight ahead, palms at the heart center. Now as you inhale, raise the hands all the way up to the sky, lifting the chest up, lengthening through the spine and the shoulders. Exhale, pushing the hips back, fingers to the ground, relaxing the neck and the shoulders. Now from here, step the right leg, one big step back. Extending the right thigh all the way to the back, extending the spine and chest to the front, gaze is forward. Now step the left leg back into a nice downward facing dog. We're pushing the chest towards the toes, gaze is on your toes, keep pushing up to the sky. Lengthening the spine, trying to ground the heels down to the mat. Inhale, come forward into a nice plank. Strong through the shoulders, holding the core in. Now from here, drop the knee down, chest and chin down, inhale up to Cobra, gaze is forward, strong through the shoulders. Now exhale, we push back to a nice downward facing dog, slowly stretching the shoulders back. Now from here, as we inhale, Let's bring the right leg up and step the right leg all the way forward to the front. Left foot forwards, exhale and fold. Inhale, let the breath flow all the way up the body, out through the fingers. And from here, as we exhale, bring the hands back to the heart center. Inhale, hands up. Let's do the other side. Exhale, push the hips back, fingers to the ground. Relax the neck and the shoulders. Now from here, the left leg, one big step back, extending the left thigh to the back, chest facing forwards. Now from here, pressing the palms down to the ground, we want to step the right leg, one big step all the way to the back into a nice downward facing dog. Gaze is on the toes, we're pushing the chest back towards the toes. Now from here, get ready to inhale, come forward into a plank. Strong through the shoulders, we're pushing the shoulders up to the sky, wrapping our abdominals in. From here, drop the knee down, push the hip up, chest and chin down to the ground. Inhale, come up into a nice cobra. Remember, we're squeezing our thighs in and we're lifting from the upper back. Now from here, exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Now get ready to lift the left leg up and then we step the left leg all the way forwards to the front. Stepping the right leg forwards, exhale and fold. Relaxing the neck and shoulders. Now inhale, let the breath flow all the way up the spine and out through the fingers, chest up to the sky, and as we exhale, let's bring the hands back down to the heart center. Now let's get ready. One more round, inhale, hands up. Lengthening the spine, relaxing the shoulders. Exhale, push the hips back, fingers to the ground. From here, step the right leg back, and chest facing forwards, lengthening the whole body. And then we step the left leg back into a nice downward facing dog. Lengthening the shoulders and pushing the chest back towards the feet. From here, 
Inhale, we come forward into a nice stable plank. And let's drop the knee down to the ground. Push the hips up to the sky, chest and chin down to the ground. From here, squeeze the thighs. Inhale, lift from the upper back into a nice cobra. Strong through the shoulders, elbows next to the ribs. And push back into a nice downward facing dog. Now let's continue. We're lifting the right leg up. Getting some space in the thigh. And then step the right leg forwards. Left leg forwards. Exhale and fold. Relaxing the neck and shoulders. And inhale. Let the breath flow all the way up the body. Up to the fingers. Up to the sky. And then exhale. Bring the hands to the heart center. Let's finish off with the left hand side. Inhale the hands up. Lengthening the whole body. Exhale, push the hips back, fingers to the ground, relaxing the neck and shoulders. Left leg back, and we're extending the chest forwards, pushing the thighs to the back. From here, let's step the leg back into a nice downward facing dog, pushing the hip up through the sky, and pushing our chest towards our feet. Now, from here, as we inhale, come forward into a nice plank position. Remember, strong through the shoulders, gaze is slightly forwards, core is strong, and we drop the knee down, push the hips up, chest and chin down. From here, squeeze the thighs and lifting from the upper back, squeeze the elbows into the ribs and lift the chest up, gazing forwards into a cobra. And get ready to exhale and push back into a nice downward facing dog, getting a nice stretch in the hamstrings. Now we're lifting the left leg all the way up and then step left leg forwards, step the right leg forwards, exhale and fold, relaxing the neck and shoulders. Now inhale and slowly let the breath flow all the way up the body, out through the fingertips, out to the sky and exhale. Let's bring the hands back to the heart center. Now that was the Surya Namaskara. Now let's continue with our next phase, the Chandra Namaskara. Come to the right hand side of your mat, hands at the heart center, the feet hip width apart, and let's begin. From here, inhale, we raise the hands over the head, interlacing the fingers, pointing the forefinger up to the sky. From here, as we exhale, lean to the left hand side. Inhale, back up, exhale, we lean to the right. Inhale, back up to the center, from here, let's bring the hands down to the hip. Step the left leg one big step to the middle of the mat and raise the hands up shoulder level into a star pose. From here, let's bring the body out and bring the hand down to the left shin, raising the right hand up. We're gazing at the right hand into a nice triangle pose, trikonosana. Both legs are straight. And then we're trying to broaden up the chest and the hip. From here, exhale. Both hands down to the front foot and we're trying to straighten both our legs. The right foot, we're trying to turn it about 45 degrees and we're bringing the forehead as close to the knee as possible. And we keep pushing the hip to the back, trying to lengthen our fingers to the front with every breath. And feel a nice deep stretch into the back of the hamstrings. Just a couple more breath. Now from here, bend the front knee and drop the right knee down into a nice lunge. And from here, two hands on the left knee, raise the hands out, lift the chest up and drop the right hip down as deep as you can into a nice crescent moon lunge, Anjaniyasana. And we're continuously trying to sink the right hip lower, lift the chest higher. From here, exhale, both fingers to the ground. And then we're moving both hands next to our left foot, extending our right leg out straight, right toes pointing up to the sky. Remember, all your body weight is on your hands. So don't put too much weight on your right leg. Be careful of the hamstrings. Always keep the right foot flexing towards the body to protect the hamstring tendon. From here, weight on the palms, bring both feet together into a nice yogi squat, 
making sure to have both your heels grounded on the mat and place your palms at the heart center triceps pushing against your thighs and lifting the spine and the chest up gazing forwards and then breathing in deeply feeling a deep stretch in the hips now from here place both hands back down on the right foot extend the left leg out carefully and making sure to flex the left foot in toes pointing up to the sky now we're stretching out the other side of our hamstring and most of your body weight is on your two palms firmly grounded on the mat gaze is forwards and let's switch the hands to the right knee and we come into a lunge on the other side now stretching the left thigh out let's lift the arms out sinking the left hip down as deep as you can lifting the chest up into a nice anjani asana crescent moon lunge and keep sinking your hip down with every breath and lifting the chest up as much as you can from here exhale drop both hands down to the front and straighten the front leg and then switch the back foot out 45 degrees straighten both legs as much as you can into a nice pivot pose we're trying to bring the forehead as close to your knee as possible pushing the hips back stretching the fingers forwards getting a deep stretch into your hamstrings from here right hand on your shin lift the chest open up the chest and shoulders and the hip and we're looking up to your left hand into a nice triangle pose just a couple more breath remember to keep stretching the chest and the shoulders now inhale come into a star pose switch both feet pointing forwards bring the hands to the hip step the right leg back into our standing position interlacing the fingers above the head exhale lean the body to the right inhale back to center exhale to the left inhale back to center and from here exhale bring the hands to the heart center now let's go back to the other side from here get ready hands to the heart from here inhale hands up over the head interlace the fingers fingers pointing up exhale lean to the right inhale back to center exhale lean to the left inhale back to center from here release the hands down to the hip and take one big step out and raise your hands up into a star pose from here let's turn the right foot out to the front of the mat drop the right hand down and then let's open up the chest and shoulders left hand up looking up to your left hand into a nice triangle pose this is a hip and a shoulder stretch so we're also opening the hip up now from here let's drop both hands down to the front foot pushing the hip back and then we're switching our back foot forwards 45 degrees bringing the forehead as close to your knee as possible getting a deep stretch into the back of the hamstrings keep breathing and with every exhalation push the hips back now inhale we come forward and drop the back knee into a lunge sink the hip down lift the chest up extending the fingers up to the sky we're gazing up to the sky at the same time we're trying to sink our left hip as low as possible so we're sinking our hip forward and down to get a deep stretch in the hip flexors now exhale drop both hands down to the front foot now two hands are next to your right foot extending the left leg out so now we're stretching out the left hamstring remember to keep flexing the left foot in to protect your knee and hamstring ligaments keeping the gaze forwards the spine upright from here weight on your palms bring both the feet in as close as possible into a nice yogi squat making sure that your whole foot is grounded heels are down feet are pointing outwards 45 degrees spine straight chest forwards gaze forwards now get ready drop both hands down next to the left foot extending the right leg out as far as you can flex the right foot in making sure to always protect the knee 
gazes forwards, most of the weight is on your palms. From here, switch the hands to the left knee and come into a lunge, sinking the hip down and lifting the chest up through the upper back. So we're trying to lift our chest up using the strength of our upper back, gazing up through the sky. Now, from here, exhale, bring both hands down to the front, extending the front leg straight, and then we bring our back foot forwards, 45 degrees. And as we exhale, we're pushing the hip back, trying to bring the forehead as close to the knee as possible, walking our fingers forwards with every exhalation, getting a nice deep stretch in the hamstrings. From here, inhale, left hand on the shin, lift the right hand up to the sky, opening up the hip and the shoulders into a nice triangle pose. Stretching out our legs, our hips and our chest in front of the shoulder. From here, let's inhale, come up into a star pose and switch the left foot forward to the front and step the foot back into our Tadasana and extending our fingers up to the sky and lean to the left and as we inhale back to the center exhale to the right inhale back to the center and then exhale hands to the heart center let's do one more round both sides inhale hands up interlacing the fingers forefinger pointing up exhale lean to the left chest facing forwards inhale back up to the center exhale to the right inhale back up to the center and then exhale bring the hands down to the hip from here step the left leg out to the center into a star pose now switch the left foot to the front of the mat lean forwards left hand down open up the chest look up through the right hand into a nice triangle pose Now from here, we bring the hand down and push the hips back into a nice pyramid pose. The back foot is facing forwards 45 degrees. We're pushing our hips back, extending our fingers forwards, forehead to the knee. Now from here, we bend the front knee, drop the back knee down into a nice lunge, sink the hip down, lift the chest up. Extending the fingers up with energy into a nice Anjani Asana Crescent Moon Lunge. Now as we exhale, place the palms next to the left foot, extending the right leg out. Remember to flex the right foot in, toes are always pointing up to the sky chest facing forwards, gazes forwards. Now from here, all your weight on your hands, we bring both the feet in into a nice yogi squat. Heels flat down on the ground, chest and spine lifted up, gazes forwards, palms next to the heart center. From here, we drop both the hands down to the right foot, extending the left leg out, Flexing the left foot in, toes pointing up to the sky, chest facing forwards, gaze is forwards. Now let's switch the hands over to your right knee and switching your back foot into a nice lunge, sink the hip down, lifting the chest up into a nice crescent moon lunge. Keep pushing the hip forward and down as slow to the mat as you can and lifting the chest up using the strength and the flexibility of the upper back. Now, exhale, drop the hands down, extending the front leg straight. The back foot is shifted facing forwards 45 degrees. We're pushing the hip back and bringing the forehead close to the knee, walking our fingers forwards, lengthening the shoulder forwards, pushing the hip back. Now. Right hand on the shin, lift the left hand up, we're gazing at our left hand, stretching out our shoulders and our chest and opening our hips up as much as we can. 
Now from here, inhale, bring the body up into a star pose. Move the right foot in, facing forwards, hands on the hips, step back into a nice mountain pose. Hands up and exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, back up to center, exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, back up to the center, exhale, hands to the heart. From here, let's prepare to move to the other side. Now inhale, hands up, interlace fingers, forefinger pointing up, exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, up to center, exhale to the left. Inhale, up to center, from here, hands on your hips, and carefully take one big step out. And let's bring the hands out into a star pose, adjust your feet, and come up into a triangle pose. We've done all this. So now we're just going to enjoy the flow, looking up to your left hand. From here, exhale and we move into a pyramid pose. Back foot is adjusted facing forwards 45 degrees, hip pushing back, fingers stretching forwards. Now from here, bend the front knee and drop the back knee down into a nice deep lunge. So sink the hip down, lift the chest up, extending the fingers up to the sky with energy. Now exhale and drop both the feet down next to the right foot, extending the left leg out carefully, flexing the left foot in, getting a deep stretch on your hamstrings. Remember to keep the spine straight, gaze forwards. Now shift the weight to both your hands, bring both feet in into a nice yogi squat. Making sure that you're always stable in your squat and the hands are connecting to your chest, keeping the spine long, gazing forwards. Now get ready to drop both hands down to your left foot, extend the right leg up, flex the right foot in, toes pointing up chest forwards now from here let's switch the hands over in front to the left knee extending the right knee back and sinking into a lunge lifting the chest up we're almost to the end of our sequence so make sure that you're getting a nice deep stretch and of course, if you want to do this whole sequence again, feel free to pause the video at any time and do a few more rounds of the moon salutations that we're doing now, our Chandra Namaskara. From here, we're moving back into a nice pyramid pose. Enjoying the stretch, taking deep breaths so the whole body can relax as you go through each pose. From here, left hand on the shade, Open up the hip, open up the shoulders, and we're gazing up to our right hand into a nice triangle pose. Now from here, as we inhale, bring both hands up, shift the left foot in into a star pose, and we're back into a standing position, lifting our hands up, interlacing our fingers, Exhaling, leaning to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, back to center. From here, drop the hands down to the chest. And that was our moon salutations. Now, let's go into our earth salutations. Hands to the heart. And let's get ready. Now, make sure your feet is mat width apart, pointing slightly outwards 45 degrees. Now, as we exhale, let's come down into a nice squat with both your hands on the mat. Now, from here, keep the spine straight, gaze forwards, and get ready to shift the hands to the back, and sit down and slowly roll the whole body down to the mat, feet facing forwards and together. From here, feet together, lift the feet up 45 degrees, squeezing the thighs together, keeping the abdominals strong. And we're holding here, keep breathing. And now open up the legs as wide as you can, flexing the feet in.
Now let's close the legs back together, squeezing the thighs and the feet together at 45 degrees, keeping your abdominals strong and keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. From here, lift the legs up and reach for the big toes, shoulders off the ground, abdominals strong, keep breathing. So we're grabbing our big toes with our forefinger and thumb. Now exhale and release the legs back down to the ground, extending the legs out, catching your breath. Now bring the knees to the chest and let's tuck the chin in and roll the body forwards back into our squat, palms on the ground. Catching your breath while in your squat, stretching the hips down. Now from here, inhale, squeeze the thighs, lift the hands up and back to the heart center. Now let's go to the second part of the earth salutations. From here, squat down again, hands down, lifting the chest and the spine up. Now, palms firm on the ground, get ready. To engage the abdominals, jump the legs back into a nice strong plank. Strong through the shoulders. And from here, we drop the whole body down into a chaturanga, forehead on the ground. This is a traditional chaturanga with the forehead down. Lift the right leg up. And from here, drop the right leg, lift the left leg up, strong through the arms, squeezing the elbows into the chest, foreheads on the ground. Drop the leg down, now push the arms up back into a plank. Keeping a strong plank here, from here get ready to squeeze the core, jump the feet in, back into a nice squat. Lifting the chest and the spine forwards. From here, squeeze the thighs and stand up into a nice tadasana and bring the hands back to the heart center. Now let's do the whole sequence one more round. So catching your breath, get ready and drop down into a squat, palms on the ground, lifting the chest up, gazes forwards. From here, bring the hands back, sit down to the ground and roll the body down to the ground, extending the legs out, squeeze the feet together and lift the legs up 45 degrees, strong through the abdominals. Pressing your palms on the ground for support. From here, open up your legs as wide as you can, flexing the both feet in. Keeping the abdominals strong, make sure no strain on the lower back. Now, bring both feet back together, squeeze the thighs, squeeze the feet together, legs are back together at 45 degrees and abdominals still strong. Now extend the feet up and lift the shoulders off the ground, reaching up for your big toes with your forefinger and thumb. Make sure you keep breathing, drop the feet down, extend the legs out and catch your breath. From here, we bend both knees into the chest, tuck the chin in, roll the whole body forwards and come back into your squat. From here, as we inhale, squeeze the legs in using the power of your thighs, stand up straight, extending the hands up and bring the hands back to the heart center. Now let's do our chaturanga. From here, get ready and come down into a deep squat. Taking a deep breath before we proceed to kick both the legs back into a nice strong plank. Strong to the shoulders, wrapping our core in. From here, squeeze the elbows into the ribs and drop the whole body down into a traditional chaturanga with the forehead on the ground. So keeping the shoulders strong, keeping the elbows tucked in, we're going to lift our right leg up as high as you can. Make sure the forehead's on the ground and your abdominals are strong. Drop the right foot down, lift the left foot up. Keep breathing as this is a very strong pose. From here, drop the left foot down and use arms to push up back into a plank. Get ready to hold your core and jump the legs in back into a squat. And from here, we're squeezing our thighs in to extend our legs, extend the spine up, 
energy through the fingers and exhale hands back to the heart center and that was our earth salutation so of course you can always just pause this video if you like to do more rounds or explore the pose a little bit more now let's come down to a seated position on the mat and let's extend our legs out and our arms just away from the hips palms facing the ceiling into a nice savasana taking a short rest after our very vigorous workout today taking in a deep breath feeling with every inhalation energy flowing in all the way to your fingers and toes re-energizing your whole body and now let's roll to the right hand side and come back up into a nice seated position and let's take three deep breaths to end the session inhale deeply exhale completely inhale deeply exhale completely and final breath inhale deeply exhale completely and bring your hands back to the heart center and namaste and thank you for your time and energy